Not killed? See, si, Comandante. But at first, I'd better fix the trap door before some innocent person gets hurt. Excuse me, amigos. Is uh, this some kind of holiday? Uh, so many of you here and the harvest going unattended? It is not a holiday, Patron. We are here on a different matter. Perhaps to uh, free the outlaw Zorro, eh? He is our friend. Nevertheless, he's an outlaw. Take the advice of one who has your best interest at heart and leave this place. Your foolish action will earn for you only a lashing at the whipping post. With all due respect to you, Don Diego, we cannot stand idly by and see Zorro hung. He is our only protection against the likes of the Comandante and the Magistrado. Juan, what are you doing here? Like the rest, Patron. I come when I heard Zorro had been captured. I'm not sure that my father will approve of a De La Vega Vaquero attempting to aid this bandit. I must ask you to go home. I advise you men to do the same. I'm sorry, Patron, but these men, Zorro, he may be an outlaw and a bandit to the eyes of the law, but he's the only one to stand between us and the whipping post. Magnificent animal and smart too. Oh, I would be proud to own him. Proud? I'd give my last peso if I had a last peso. <laughs> I think he likes me too. Corporal? Don't look at me like that. I'm not. I'm merely thinking. Do you happen to have any money I haven't already borrowed? Nah. <clears throat> You do not have to remind me, Senor Galindo. I have enough to remind me that El Zorro has escaped. But the next time... The next time. Always the next time. Let me remind you that El Zorro means the fox. 
You suppose he is fool enough to risk exposure by publicly bidding on his own horse? No. Not Del Zorro himself, perhaps. But a friend or an accomplice, yes. He loves this horse. He will stop at nothing to get him back. And the first suspicious character that raises his voice to bid for this horse, my lancers will seize and wring the truth from him. Roberto! Comandante! Are the lancers posted? Si, sí, Comandante. Oh, this will be an event to remember. The whole town will be there, including a friend of Zorro's. Tell Sergeant Garcia to conduct the sale. But do not bother to tell him what it is about. It would only confuse him and lead to disaster. Ah, Don Diego. This is indeed a pleasant surprise. Likewise, Sergeant. I always look forward to the privilege of buying you a drink. Oh, gracias. Uh, would you please serve us some tea at the table? I saw your man outside, the, the little one who cannot hear, so I thought he would be in the tavern. You thought I would be here, and yet uh, you were surprised to see me. Uh, your reasoning is most complex, Sergeant. Uh, just what exactly is on your mind? On my mind? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. I, I mean, how did you know there was? Well, your face, it's an open book. I can read your every thought. You can? What am I thinking right now? Nothing. That's right. Don Diego, how do you do it? It's very simple. One uh, just takes into consideration the mental capacity of the person under analysis and draws a conclusion. Now, in your case, the betting odds were 100 to 1 in my favor. Oh, I see. It is useless to try to hide my thoughts from you, Don Diego. <laughs> Gracias. I was just thinking how nice it would be to own Zorro's horse. Really? Why? Well, every time I chase this fellow Zorro, he gets away. Why? Not because he's a better rider, which he is, or because he is braver, which he is also, I guess, but because he has a faster horse. Now, if I had this horse, I could catch Zorro and claim the reward. You know something? Your reasoning is very logical. Say, why don't you buy him? Buy him? Don Diego, where would I get the money? Please, do not insult me. Am I not your friend? Well, yes, but... Well, what else is a friend for if not to lend money? Now, I insist you take this money, else our friendship is at an end. Well, since you put it like that, I can hardly refuse. How much do you need? Yeah, about uh, 500 pesos, I think. I do not believe there are many who will risk the danger of owning Zorro's horse. <laughs> but you, Sergeant, you are not afraid. Oh, afraid? Me? No, San Diego, of course not. You're sometimes a little cautious, maybe, but afraid. Uh, mil gracias, Don Diego. You are a gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> well, with your permission, I, I must leave. Vaya con Dios. Thank you.